Lego, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Castle, set number 71043 at 6,020 pieces. This comes with four minifigs. Godric Gryffindor, Hilga Hufflepuff, Salazar Slytherin, and Ro Ro Rowena Ravenclaw. This is a big castle. This stands at 69 and a half centimeters or 24.7 inches wide at 58.6 centimeters or 23.1 inches tall. And it comes with 27 mini minifig statues along with five Dementor mini minifig statues. Tons of rooms. They got the Whomping Willow. Various scenes throughout the movie. Various rooms. We got the Great Hall. The Moving Staircase. Let's get in to this. We got a bunch of loose bags and a box. We all know what's in the box, which was in the box. So let's open up this box so we can see what's in the box. It is more bags in a box that was in the box. So now that we have everything open, so the in total, I believe there's around 36 to 40 bags. The box in the box contained the first 13 bags along with three loose parts bags. A whole lot of sticker elements and four instruction books. So I'm not wasting any more time and I'm getting right into it. So there is 13 bags completed. That whole box turns into this. So far, I'm liking it. I'm liking the brickwork and the rockwork in front. You got the little house where the boats will be going to. The detail is pretty amazing. 
we got some printed windows there. One of my favorite features is the stained glass, the way they did it there. I'm liking the way the roof is turning out. Pretty, pretty good. Got a couple more stained glasses on the back here, a little bit taller. Now, before we get to the rest of the bags, look at the great hall. You can really see how the stained glass just kind of pops out in there. A few sticker elements on the side. And you can see them hanging here. The four flags of the houses. We got Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. But again, one of my favorite features here is that stained glass. I'm just loving it. Let's get to the rest of the bags and get this thing finished. castle is complete this was a really fun set to build i really did enjoy it lots of heavy detail inside we have the whomping willow with that enchanted car hagrid's hut and of course we have the boats that take them across the river when they first get to hogwarts and probably one of my favorite things the mini mini figures these things are awesome. And it does come with four regular minifigs, and they are Godric Gryffindor, going from left to right, Hilga Hufflepuff, Salazar Slytherin, and Rowena Ravenclaw. And they're on their stand in front of their respective house flags. Moving to the mini minifigs, we have an assortment of teachers, an array of students, and of course we have Harry Potter, Ronald Weasley, and Hermione Granger. So now let's get to the castle itself. So this castle is quite the big set. Now what they did, which is they made it modular, which isn't anything new, but it's the way they did it. I think it's the first time I've seen them do this. So they have the separation point right here and it comes off really, really easy. So when you're building it, this one gets built first. And this is, these are like the first two instruction books. These are the last two instruction books. But when you look at the way they did it, they reversed the pin. They put the Technic side in, and I'll show you this right now. So if you see on the pin here, now normally what they've done before is they have it flipped around. So this part clips into the Technic piece. This time around, They have them like this, so 
it'll go together but doesn't clip together which makes for a little bit easier to move around and play with but the detail on this is pretty good we see the windows to the great hall here you got the rock face some of the detailing with the slopes and the cheese wedges and the inverted plants to give it a more of a rocky look as it is in the movie and they continue the rock face all the way around the whole structure which is actually pretty cool and they have the bridge that gets blown up in the deathly hollows and we have the main courtyard with the clock in it as we see the golden statue in there and this is the tallest tower along with the dragon that harry potter fights in the goblet of fire <clears throat> just across the bridge we can see some more of the stained glass work that they got i really like the way they did the stained glass on this one which we'll see better once we flip this around but overall great attention to detail good use of cheese slopes and grates all these windows are printed pieces which i like a lot so getting into the back of the castle they try to touch on all the major scenes from the movies and we have what well, looks like the library here and a couple students in there getting some higher education Moving just down below, we have a couple classes here. I believe this is supposed to be Snape's potion room. But I'm liking the way they detail. They got the stickers on the wall, so it's, yeah, not too bad. And moving along, we have the room of requirement, I believe that is. And then we have Ronald Weasley playing uh, Wizard's Chest. And then, of course, we have the key with the broken wing that leads eventually to the Chamber of Secrets. And we see Harry Potter dealing with uh, the big snake. And, of course, we have the hallway where they they see the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the hair beware. Or air beware. And then we come up to the pink lady's classroom where she first teaches Harry Potter some respect moving on this looks like this looks like Gilderoy Lockhart's classroom with the Cornish pixies this little detail I'm liking the stickers on this one and one of my other favorite things here are the movable stairs and these things do rotate so Makes it really, you know, kind of gives you the feel like you're actually in Hogwarts on the movable stairs. Now, in the back there, those are all stickers for all the various photos that are, that are on the wall. And, of course, we have Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Now, I'm a little disappointed we didn't get a mini, mini fig of Moaning Myrtle. I think that would have been really cool. But she is up on the sticker. And moving on, we have... Dumbledore's office and again it would have been nice to get a mini mini fig of the Phoenix but we get him on a sticker and the roof as you can see is uh, the that hinge technique they've been using on a lot of sets in the last few years which I think is a great idea and you see the dragon is chilling out And of course, we have five Dementors when they're patrolling the school. Now these Dementors are pretty cool. They're just a mini, mini fake on a stud. Would have been great to get some more, but five is good. And moving to the Great Hall, this was my favorite room to build. One, we have the flags of the four classes. Now these are sticker elements. And we see on the wall there, we have all the rules that were put up that the Wheezy brothers made short work of. The reason why this is my favorite, because I like the way they did the tables where the students have their meals and converse and all that stuff. And where the teachers sit, but my favorite part is that stained glass wall. This was the first stained glass we built in this set. 
and I'm liking the technique they use. I'm liking the fact they use a lot of translucent pieces. Uh, the translucent snot brick with the grills gives it a really, really good look. A really good design. Got some, some more stickers on the back there. And that's what it kind of looks like the stained glass on the outside. Now, if you shine the light through it, it really, really pops. So as you can see, if you get some light going through it, it really, you can really highlight and see this, the effect they were going for, which I think is really cool. It's one of my favorite parts of the set is the stained glass. So like, subscribe, drop a comment, and let's share the adventure.